I'm just anticipating a shit show. <laughs> Halloween pizzas. Eat daddy steak. So many pockets. <laughs> we had a casualty. Sunday. This is the first Sunday in so long that I haven't had to work. So we're doing a family trip to go hiking. It was on our little fall bucket list and I'm really excited. I've had this backpack for so long and I've actually never used it. I bought it specifically for a trip to Colorado and then it came in late. <laughs> So I never got to use it. So today's the first day we're gonna use it. And it's kind of definitely more heavy duty than the hike we're about to go on right now, but that's okay. Cause we're also bringing the dogs. So I feel like we'll fill all the spots, you know? And it'll just be a good practice. We're bringing a first aid kit, either for us or for the dogs, obviously. You just wanna be safe. Cohen's wearing a hat, but he's also bringing a beanie just in case. This is our favorite flea and tick spray for the dogs. So we're gonna bring this to spray on them before we start hiking. I'll try to link everything down below. Little collapsible water dish, mm-hmm. This is for you. We have a treat pouch for one dog. And then I'm, I actually have more treats in my fanny pack. We're gonna have short leads and long leads. What else do we need? Your water bottles. Obviously we'll have water bottles. I have bladders for this, but this hike is not that long. Cohen and I have never hiked together and we've never been hiking with the dogs, obviously together because we've never hiked together. Bela's never been hiking. I have taken Freya, Naya's been. So it's a first time family adventure for all of us to go together. Are you ready to hike? <laughs> Obviously gonna bring a portable charger just in case. So many pockets. I have my Cotopaxi. I bought this so long ago to do for hiking and stuff and it's my first time using it for what it's meant to be used. I use it all the time. Other than just kibble for the dogs, my hack to all of you is to get reusable applesauce little like containers. I will link these ones down below. And I fill them with various things, things that are all safe for dogs. But today we're gonna be filling them with a wet food of what Freya already eats in her dog food. So Signature's salmon and trout formula. Only because Freya's the one with the sensitive tummy, like Bela is indestructible. She's like a garbage disposal. She can eat whatever. <laughs> But instead of getting this for your children and applesauce, I get them for the dogs and I fill them up and then you basically have like a very high value reward or treat on you whenever you need it. So sometimes I would bring this to farmer's markets if I knew it's gonna be like super crazy for Freya. Freya's just very like food motivated. So this is like her go-to. She's literally standing right beside me right now while I'm doing this. And I would just rather be prepared and have things and not, you know, need them. And since we're taking all the dogs hiking for the first time, I'm just anticipating a shift show. I'm excited for it, but I'm just, yeah, full on like this is going to be fun. So I want to make sure I have a high value reward ready when we need it. They just like Ziploc close and there's a line that's like the fill line, your max line. So as long as you don't fill it up over that, like it's going to Ziploc and it's going to stay Ziploc and you'll be fine. And then you can squeeze it out the top of it. Yummy wet dog food. It's literally perfect. And you don't have to get your hands wet holding like wet stuff or like wet dog food like this. I literally just kind of like pour it out and the dog's like like from it, like a gerbil. We have all the kiddos with us, all three of them. Oh my goodness. Good sit, Freya. Yeah, good job. We got Tritos and Dakota Paxi. Got Tritos. Good girl.
hello we are back from hiking it is 10 o'clock p.m <laughs> we got done at like i don't know two three maybe um we had a casualty not an actual casualty but things happened on the trail what happened on the trail baby nothing <laughs> nothing not a damn nothing not a damn okay. thing okay <laughs> yeah um so we were hiking having a grand old time three dogs two people like killing backpack. it backpack backpack killing it killing it having so much fun mm. and i'm behind mm. cohen oh i'm so sorry yeah i just <laughs> nothing happened though <laughs> I was walking behind Cohen. I had Freya with me and he had Bela and Naya and the book bag. And then all of a sudden he trips, his foot gets stuck underneath like a branch root thing. And he goes Whoosh! like just straight down. <laughs> Did and you have it like on camera? No, Damn. I wish I, I was. Would've... So he ate shit. And at first I was just like, oh, it's, one of, it's gonna be one of those where you're like, Ah, like, oh, I caught myself, whatever. No, this man immediately is just like, oh, oh, and I was like, oh my God. And then we also heard a snap. And at first I was like, oh my God, like an ankle. We broke an ankle. Like what the fuck just happened? But it was really the root that snapped. But I also thought it was your karma because the last time Cohen and his sister went to Hawking Hills, she broke her ankle and they had to like wheelbarrow her out of Hawking Hills. And so we were kind of making fun of her on the drive down. And so then, yeah, he fell. I heard the snap and I literally was like, that's the karma. Like your ankles broke. <laughs> <laughs> he falls, obviously Doug kind of like rolls over. He is very visibly in a lot of pain. And that's when I was like, okay, he's actually injured. Like fuck. Mm -hmm. And then he, which valid. Okay. But Naya's like strapped around his waist and he lets go of Bela's leash and I have Freya and Cohen's like dying and Bela's going down the trail still and I was like oh my god <laughs> and I was like here hold Freya and I like ran and had to go get Bela brought her back and then I had to strap all three dogs to a tree before I could attend to you and the whole time you're just like oh my god God, I'm like, how are we gonna get out of here? Like, I can't carry all three dogs and you. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to go back and take like Freya and Bailey. You're gonna have to sit here with Naya. And then I'm gonna come back for you and then I'll have to take Naya. And I don't, I don't know, spiraling, right? Thank God nobody was around to watch it. Obviously he hobbled out. Mm -hmm. He refused to get wheelbarrowed out. No, I was not calling for that shit. But yeah, his knee's pretty messed up. I had it on the chair there for about 20 minutes and with some ice and stuff. And We've been doing, yeah, since like 4 p.m. like ice on, ice off. Like yeah. it's pretty swollen. Nothing's like black or blue. So I don't think like we broke anything. The shitty thing also is this is my knee that I had surgery on uh, probably like maybe five years ago. So he's hobbling around. He can't put weight on it that much and can't mm -hmm. really bend, bend it. it. But we're hoping some ibuprofen and all the things and he wakes up tomorrow in like a betterish space and then if not we'll have to go to the doctor yeah probably get an mri done well, to make it even better though this whole time i would like kind of like slip out or something like this the whole time we yeah, were like, like hiking times we're going down like you've slipped like so many times but i never like fell but it was no. just like <gasps> you're like oh my god and then he'd oh turn god. around and look at me and i'd be like oh. and but nothing would happen and then you just <laughs> I just go to try to take a step over a route, and that bitch just said no. Ugh. She said, uh-uh. Obviously, it wasn't worst case scenario because it could have been lo a lot worse. worse, yeah. But I could have had a dislocated kneecap. Well, that's what I thought. I immediately, like, ran along the edge and then ran along the edge of your other knee, and I was like, okay, we're in there. Because I was like, I'm not going to be able to pop your knee back in. So I'm oh, like... I would've, yeah, I would have been like, come on, pull it. Nope. <laughs> nope. So that was our day. <laughs> And then we came home and was resting. I was trying to do some editing and whatnot while he's just out of commission. And then I just took all the dogs out for their last time of the night. So we also have not had dinner yet. So we're about to make dinner. But I thought I'd update you because I'm sure there was such a beautiful montage of our hike. <laughs> and then the Instagram versus reality is hilarious there. The last time I went to Aldi, because the last time I just ordered groceries, but I went to Aldi beforehand and I picked up... Halloween pizzas. There's a jack-o'-lantern one, so like a pumpkin-shaped pizza, and then there's a ghosty, and it's so cute. I feel like we should just make both, because I feel like they're not that big. So we're gonna make both pizzas for us tonight, and I thought we would do it, because of course it's spooky. They <laughs> definitely look spooky after getting cooked. I mean, the shape is still there, of course, but like the detailing is a little, a little sketchy now. But now we get a whole pizza to ourselves. Yeah. Do you want the pumpkin or the ghost? Whichever one's smaller. I mean, I feel like they're both probably the same in the end. Look at him hobbling. Baby. <laughs> it looks like a penis. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? I don't want that one. <laughs> You're having that one. <laughs> you got little ghosty eyes. Okay. <laughs> It's hot. hot, yeah. Hot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and you wonder why men live shorter lives than women. I did get apple cider when I ordered my groceries, and I haven't had any yet, and I'm so excited. <sighs> I love apple cider. I'm not gonna fill this entire thing up, but I'm gonna use my Taylor Swift cup because I did go see Bears tour movie on Friday the 13th, opening night, or what was supposed to be opening night, but then she released more dates Thursday, which I was like, <laughs> I was supposed to be opening night. They were out of tote bags. I really wanted a tote bag. And also these were supposed to come with like a pink lid and a pink straw. They were out of those. So I just have a cup that's like ginormous that doesn't fit like Starbucks lids. So I have no idea what to do with that. And I don't usually like having cups that don't have lids or straws because they spill easier of course. And also Kitty loves to drink out of cups, but maybe she won't because it's apple cider. I would rate it a 10 out of 10, especially as someone who didn't get to go to the concert. I absolutely loved it, but I was really excited to just experience the concert because I didn't know everything and I didn't know all the transitions and all the like fun visuals. I just knew a few of the songs that she performs, but not, not in that way. So I loved it. Our theater like sang, but nothing too obnoxiously. Like Cohen and I even sang in our seats, everybody else sang. There were a couple people standing up throughout certain parts or whatever. And it was just cute all around a good time. And even Cohen said afterwards, I was like, does it make you think any differently about any songs or anything like that? He goes, yeah, like I really, I want to listen to that one again with them at the table like he was kind of more into it like watching the visuals of the songs like seeing all the emotion in it and whatever so he's never listened to tolerate it and then he really liked it after like watching it in the tour but all around amazing i cried singing the 10 minute version of all too well <sighs> I also got the popcorn tin to match and it's sitting in my office. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with that, but I have it. And now we're gonna eat some pizza. Give them your review of the Ayers Tour movie. The movie was a lot of fun. I was kind of on the edge of my seat a lot. Of course, he wasn't on like Taylor Swift TikTok, so he didn't really see anything about the movie. Mm -mm. You just know the songs from me playing it in the car. So like mm -hmm. everything was new to you in terms of like ev all visuals. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. I really liked it. It was really fun. You actually feel like you're there in a sense. Yeah. I would say that it was probably like the crowd. Like obviously like everybody was like singing and mm -hmm. you know, there were certain parts that like was you kind of... <gasps> The chants he got yeah. to see and listen and like kind of learn the chants. A lot of them he was like, Oh my god, what's happening? But like, I, was I so knew confused. them. One, two, three, let's go, bitch. <laughs> I was like, There are children here. That's what you do. No, it was a good time. I really had a lot of fun. I was on the edge of my seat. I was singing. I kind of danced in my chair a little. Mm -hmm. I had a good time. I just wish we would have made friendship bracelets. I know. Yeah, we wanted to do the whole friendship bracelet mm -hmm. and dress up. There's definitely people who did, and people were like sharing and exchanging bracelets and stuff. It was super cute. Cute, but we just did not give ourselves enough time to like do all of that. So I wish I would have gotten a tote bag though. We're gonna enjoy our spooky ghost and the pumpkin pizza and our apple cider and settle down for tonight. Yeah, the doggos have been just knocked since we got back. Like all of them sleeping, nobody's moving. <laughs> They were wore out after that hike, which is good. They had such a good time. And Bella did so good on her first hike. Yeah. She did very, very minimal pulling and overall was like good on the trails. Like didn't bark at other dogs, you know, like just very like, you know, good etiquette. Naya pulled a lot, but she was excited. That's like her stomping grounds. Cohen and her used to go all the time when I was like younger and could really hike. And we didn't do a super long hike today. One, because... Cohen. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> Two, because at first we were just back and forth on whether or not we were going to bring Naya because she can't really do that stuff anymore. She's 11 and a little old lady. But then we're like, she is getting older though. So this might be one of the last times that she'll truly be able to hike. So we're going to take her and just do like something really short for her. So yeah, she did good. She climbed rocks. She jumped over the logs and stuff. She had a blast. Like she was so happy. And there was plenty of times like we were going down the stairs. She would just come up to me but she was attached to Cohen and just like nudge me and look at me and just being like, I'm so happy right now. Like it was the cutest thing ever. So we're so happy we brought her, mm -hmm. even if it was just a tiny hike. She had fun, but she did pull cause she was super excited. And then Freya was good. She was excited too though. She honestly helped me cause I had her attached to my um, waist on the way back up. Cause she would just like kind of run up the hill and just pull me with her. So I didn't have to like try that hard. She's like a sled dog. <laughs> it was great. It wasn't as chaotic as I thought it was gonna be with like our first family hike. It was 
was chaotic, but not as chaotic as I thought. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let me know if you guys went to the Ares tour movie, what you guys thought, or if you're going, let me know. I love you so much more than you ever know, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.